Okay, as we all know, the end goal is to accumulate as much crypto as possible by any means necessary, whether you buy more, you earn more, or just anything you do, because we know crypto will be worth a lot more in the future. Now, we don't know how much, but we know it'll be worth a lot. The thing is, though, we're all lazy, and we want the fastest and easiest way to get more crypto without sacrificing our time or money. So, I got to thinking, there has to be ways that I can increase my crypto bags without having to do much work. So I went on a hunt. I went out to find ways you can earn free crypto by doing as little work as possible without getting scammed, obviously. So after scouring the internet for a couple days now, I found 11 solid ways you can earn free crypto that actually pay a lot, again, without getting scammed. But before we get into it, my name is Forrest. I make videos all about crypto and how you can become rich with it. So if you guys do want to become rich, do me a favor and smash that like button. Subscribe if you guys haven't already so you don't miss out on any future videos. And without further ado, let's see how you can earn more crypto for free. The first way is through something called airdrops. Now, I went super in depth into this and how you can actually scale this to make thousands of dollars in my previous video. But for the sake of just telling you guys about it, I'll keep this very brief. Basically, an airdrop is when a project gives away free tokens to those who interact with a blockchain or just use the coin now you don't have to do anything crazy it could be as little as just connecting your wallet to the coin or just maybe sending a transaction every project has its own rules i've even seen some they just want you to follow their social media handles now the reason these projects do this and give you free tokens is so they could generate more hype and interest around their own project a great example of an airdrop was a uniswap airdrop where they airdrop 400 uni tokens to anyone who i think just made a transaction using their swap it was like a surprise no one really knew it was going to happen luckily i had happened to use Uniswap before and I was given 400 tokens that was just dropped straight into my wallet. I still remember when I first saw it, I was like, what the, where did this 400 tokens come from? But at the height of Uniswap's price, it was worth close to $16,000. I would say airdrops are a decent way to earn free crypto. And if you do your research correctly, you can legit make a full-time income. And all you have to do is track projects that have large airdrops coming up. And you can do that by using a website like airdrops.io, which tells you all the upcoming airdrops and exactly what you have to do so you can participate in it. All right, coming up next, Next, we have something called faucets. Now, faucets are very similar in a way to airdrops as well. Faucets are basically a way for people to do minor tasks such as airdrops and get rewarded with more tokens. For example, when I first got into crypto, there were a lot of Bitcoin faucets. You don't see many anymore, but basically all you had to do was answer questions, click links, share it, just very minor things and you'd get rewarded with a small portion of Bitcoin. And the reason why Bitcoin and these other cryptocurrencies are given in the form of faucets are the same reason as airdrops projects are trying to build awareness and trying to get their name out there and they know that providing free crypto will get people to come i've also seen places where all you have to do is complete a captcha and you'd be rewarded with tokens and the thing is faucets are not scams at all i've done them plenty of times when i first started it's basically like i said a way for a project to get new people involved with their ecosystem now the thing is is you're not going to get rich by participating in faucets you'll make some money nothing crazy but you'll make <laughs> some money I'll, I'll just leave it at that but if you want you can just google top faucets or if you have a specific coin you can like just google the coin and the type faucet at the end of it and you'll be given plenty of options you guys can use all right next up we have coinbase earn now this is probably one of my most favorite ways to earn free crypto so let me tell you why now coinbase earn is pretty much where you watch a group of videos about a specific coin such as how it started what it aims to fix just a whole bunch of information on the coin and after each video you have to answer a question if you get it right you get anywhere from one to five dollars per question now don't worry even if you get a question wrong you can still choose another answer until you get it right so essentially you can get free crypto regardless of if you get the question right or wrong also you don't really need to watch the videos to answer these questions people already posted the answers to these online so if you want to just check online you can do that as well now coinbase isn't the only one there are tons of other platforms out there just like this coinbase is just the biggest one obviously also the thing is is you only get paid out in the crypto that the lesson is on so if the lesson is about bat you'll get paid out in bat which is not bad because essentially it's still free crypto and you can always just sell that to your preferred coin if you want. Also, the cool thing is, is Coinbase is always adding new lessons. And I've been doing this since they started. And I think I've made like close to $200 so far. So it definitely is worth doing. And like I said, if you can find other platforms that do this as well, that's unlimited money for you. Well, not unlimited, but you get the point. All right, coming in at number four is by lending your money to exchanges. Now, this is something after everything that's happened in the past couple of months with uh, 
BlackFi and FTX, I highly suggest you guys not to do because essentially they have control of your crypto. You're giving it to these companies and they promise you returns of like five to nine percent a year. Now, I'm not going to go too in depth into this because I really don't want you guys to do this because there are plenty of other options out there than just giving your money to an exchange and having them just stealing your money. Now, on the other hand, if you do want to make some of that passive income like that five to nine percent I was talking about and you have money to invest instead of investing through a centralized company, you can invest your money and earn crypto by going through dApps or known as decentralized applications. Now, these are pretty much the same thing like these centralized companies and what they do, but with dApps, they are fully decentralized, meaning they aren't owned by anyone, which removes the risk of your money getting hacked. Now, this is something I personally do recommend. It is a little more risky, but you can make some decent returns on your money doing this, ranging from like 10 to 50% and maybe even going up to 100% on your money. If this is something you guys are interested in and want to do some more research, I made a full in-depth video on how you guys can do this. You can check it out by clicking right up here, or you can just do some more research on this. This type of investing is also known as yield farming and DeFi lending. Number six is by getting rid of your debit cards and using cards from companies like crypto.com, Binance, and Coinbase. Basically, with your regular debit card, you don't earn anything when you use it. You're just spending your money. Now, if you were to use a crypto debit card anytime you spend money, you could get a percentage back in crypto. Now, each card from each exchange has their own rewards criteria, so I suggest looking into them and seeing what works best for you. I personally prefer the Coinbase card because they have some really good benefits and everyone already has a Coinbase account, so it just makes everything super easy. With the Coinbase card, you can choose to earn 1% back on any purchase you make in the form of uh, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, or DAI, or if you want to get 4% back on any purchases you make, you can get them back in the coins of the Graph Token, Stellar, Amp, or Rally. Again, these cards are designed to do the same exact thing as your regular debit cards. It's the same feature, the same security measures, same everything. The only big difference is that now you can earn crypto for spending like you normally would. Number seven is going to be by just browsing the internet. Yep, you heard me right. You can actually get paid just by browsing the internet using your laptop or tablet. And you can do this by using the Brave browser. Now the Brave browser is just like any other browser, kind of like how we have Chrome or Safari. The only difference with the Brave browser is that you can earn crypto just by using it. Now I've heard of people say they make anywhere in between like five to like $15 a month just by doing nothing and using their computer as they normally would. Now I know that's not a lot, but making money doing something you already are doing anyway, that's honestly not a bad idea to me. Plus the browser comes with a built-in ad blocker and tons of other free features. How the Brave browser pays you is using the crypto bat, so that's how you're gonna get your money. And the best part is, is they pay you out every single month. Coming in at number eight is staking. Now I've talked about this plenty of times before, but basically this is locking up your coins and earning rewards. Pretty much what you're doing when you're staking your coins is helping the blockchain of that crypto grow and make improvements. There are tons of coins out there that you can stake. If you want, you can go to a website like stakeablecoins.com and it'll show you all the coins you're allowed to stake and how much you can earn from staking them as well. Now, this isn't technically earning free crypto. I mean, it kind of is because you have to own some of the coin to stake, but I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you guys own some crypto in some shape or form. So why not just stake it and earn rewards if you aren't going to do anything else with it anyway? You can also use platforms like Coinbase and Binance to stake, which I don't really recommend again with everything that happened recently. But if you can find wallets that allow you to stake and not give up your private keys, I choose those over these centralized exchanges, even if you get less rewards with these private wallets. But usually they range from like two to 15% on the high end. But if you really want to push your luck, you can stake some speculative coins and earn a lot more. Just, just be careful though. Overall, staking is a really good way to earn crypto and it's really safe as well for, for the most part if you're staking these uh, not so risky coins. Next up coming in at number nine is by mining crypto. Now, I've also talked about this plenty of times before and I'm sure many of you guys already heard of this, but I think what people get mistaken with mining crypto is that you need super expensive machines or computers to get started. Well, I'm here to say that's not the case at all. You can actually start mining crypto just by using your phone, laptop, or even tablet. Now, there's apps out there that use your phone's power to mine crypto. Now, obviously it won't be as much as like a real ASIC miner, but at least you'd be getting something. If you have an extra phone or computer lying around, this is not a bad idea. You can easily make like 10 to $30 a month by mining on these lower tier devices. And if you start to become comfortable with that type of mining, you can start working your way up and start upgrading to some bigger miners. That's what I'm currently doing right now. Now, yes, they cost a lot more, but you can also make a lot more as well. The one I got, I think is set to make around 500 to $1,000 a month. But I probably should have mentioned this earlier 
of the year. But for those of you that don't know what mining is, it's basically validating transactions on the blockchain. It's honestly very similar to staking. The biggest difference is that staking requires you to lock up your coins, whereas mining requires you to use your computing system, like from uh, your phone or computer. And don't worry, mining is a key part in the crypto ecosystem, so you don't have to worry about mining going anywhere anytime soon. Now, you can mine a whole bunch of coins. It doesn't just have to be Bitcoin. You can mine Litecoin, you can mine Dogecoin, and there's tons of other coins that are mineable. You just have to see which one works best for your devices and works best for you and which pays the most, obviously. The main reason why I like mining so much is because of the passive component of it, because once you have it set it up and running, you just collect money every month, kind of like a rent payment if you had an investment property. Number 10 is by creating content just like me. Well, kind of. There are actually crypto projects out there that pay creators, and it doesn't just have to be in video form. If you're a good writer, you can write pieces of content and publish your work on these social blockchains, and you can get paid for doing it. And it's not only that, if you're good at photography, music, art, anything that creators do, you can publish your work and you can get paid for it. There are a ton of platforms out there like this, such as uh, Theta, Steemit, U42 Library, and a whole bunch of other places that pay you for creating content and posting it on their blockchain. Now, the payouts differ from each blockchain, but if you had the time and you started publishing on all the projects, you could be making yourself some pretty good money. I saw online there were people making hundreds of dollars every month just by publishing content online. And finally, coming in at number 11, and in my opinion, the best way to accumulate more crypto is by earning more money. What do I mean by that? Now, yes, you can do all the things I talked about from faucets or staking or using the Brave browser, but those are all very minute ways to earn crypto. You want to get yourself a big fat stack because that's the only way you'll become rich. So you need to start changing your mindset from finding ways to pick up these little crumbs to going after the whole slice of bread. When you start to earn more money, you can take that and funnel it back into crypto because the saying is true. You need money to make more money. So if you pour a lot of money into the markets, you'll start to make a lot more money with it as well. Now, there's plenty of options out there. You can go and get a job if you don't have one. You can ask for a raise or get paid more money. Or if you already have all that, but we just want to start making more money, then you can start like a side hustle or a new business. And luckily for you guys, I have a whole newsletter where I send out daily business trends and unique ways for you guys to start making some extra money. It's completely free and you guys can sign up if you want by clicking the link down below. Trust me, I make them super fun to read and you'll be given some crazy ways to make some crazy money. And one more thing I want to point out is that 99. 99% of everything in the crypto world are scams. And if you can't tell if something is a scam or not, a good rule of thumb to follow is that if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And trust me, I've had my fair share of getting scammed and I really don't want the same thing to happen to you guys. But hopefully this video gave you guys some more insight on how you can earn some more crypto. But remember the true potential is by funneling more money into the market and using that to make more money. And if you aren't at that level yet, don't worry because I just gave you 10 or 11 other options you guys can start today without doing as much work. Remember, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss on any future crypto videos and how you can become rich with it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.